Hello, and perhaps Merry Christmas, depending on when you choose to open this Walking with Jesus. For um, the scheduled release, this is December 25th of 2020, and I wish you a very Merry Christmas. We are at the point in the journey where the message of the birth of Jesus Christ is going to be proclaimed to the shepherds who are out in the fields watching their sheep by night. And so let us go there. It is from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 2, verses 8 to 14. And it says this, And in the same region, the region of Bethlehem, there were shepherds out in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were feel, filled with great fear. And the angel said to them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in swaddling cloths and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace among those with whom he is pleased. Ah, what a beautiful, beautiful passage. And so, have you ever felt that you were unworthy? Have you ever felt that, why me, God? Why would you choose to make yourself known to me? Have you ever felt perhaps as though God wouldn't care about you? He couldn't care about you? Well, hopefully this series of devotions leading up to uh, the advent of our Lord and his birth has disabused you of some of those notions. But if not, let me stop today and say that the fact that the shepherds out in the field are the first ones to receive the annou announcement of the birth of Jesus Christ says that all are welcome. In the shepherds in the, in the same region, there were shepherds out in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. Now, I've heard a lot of different stories about these shepherds. I've heard a lot of different stories about the possibility that these sheep are the same sheep that, that are being raised and kept and used for sacrifice in the temple. And, and all of that is quite possible, fitting, and true. But let's just stop and say the shepherds. Uh, the shepherds, according to Jewish tradition and according to Jewish ritual, were the lowest and the least. They were outsiders. They were considered unclean. They were not allowed to give evidence in the courts. They were the lowest of the low. And I just, you know, I find great joy in seeing that an angel of the Lord, a messenger of Yahweh, appeared to them. And the glory of Yahweh shone around them, and they were filled with great fear. Well, I think we would be too if in the middle of our nightly watch uh, outside, all of a sudden there was great light that shone on the tent or that they were in or in the open spaces that they were. And this this being steps out of space and glows with radiance and has a message for them. And the angel said to them, fear not, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy. We'll come back and we'll look at that uh, tomorrow for St. Stephen's Day. But just know that God loves you, that no one is below him that God cares about every man, woman, and child on planet Earth. He is not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. And make sure you take that message with you today. Not only that you take that message with you today, but that you share that message with any and all that you encounter today. That the God who created all things 
cares about you. Be a messenger for the Lord, telling people about the good news of great joy that is for all people. God bless you as you walk with Jesus on this Christmas day, 2020.